right for you now. As Fran Shen Cruz makes her way in. She had an extensive amateur background, began boxing to lose weight. She had a host of amateur titles dating back to 2005, 2008, National Gold Glove Champ. 2006, she was the uh, National Police Athletic League Champion. In 2006 to 2008, National Women's World Champion. She won an additional national championship at light middleweight at middleweight in 2013 and light heavyweight in 2015. Very aggressive fighter. And Sun Cruz makes her way in and is in the ring now. And now, fans, as she makes her way to the ring, would you please welcome Clarissa Shields. T-Rex Shields. Got a few fans here. She had a real extensive amateur background. First American boxer to win Olympic gold in back-to-back -back games, 2012, 2016. Real hard upbringing. First member of her family to graduate from high school. She idolizes Serena Williams. But it was Layla Ali that inspired her to become a boxer at age 11. She has a host of amateur titles as well. Elite Women's World Boxing Championships in 2014 to 16. 2013, she won the World Youth Women's World Championship. At age 16, Shields actually upset Cruz in the 2012 Olympic Prize. And she's 21, Cruz is 29. A little bit of a height advantage for Shields, a little bit of a reach advantage for Cruz. Of course, they know each other's style well. Shields owns a win over Cruz on her way here. All right, their professional debuts tonight, and I'm looking forward to this one. Looking forward to seeing how Clarissa transitions to the professional game. Let's see if you'll sit down a little bit. Also, the documentary star of T-Rex. Their fight for gold. She is the book on her excellent technical fighter with power. The crew, he wants to take it away from her. Is our ring announcer, Jake And now, fight fans from the T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada, we bring you a special attraction scheduled for four two-minute rounds featuring the super middleweights. Our judges will be Bert Clements, John McKay, and Ricardo Ocasio, our referee in charge of this bout, Russell Mora. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. She entered the ring wearing purple, black, and silver, and she weighed in at 168 pounds. Tonight, fans, she makes her professional debut from Baltimore, Maryland. Please welcome Franchon Cruz. And her opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. She's wearing white and gold, and she weighed in at 167 pounds. She was a highly decorated amateur boxer, including world amateur champion and a two-time U.S. Olympic gold medal winner tonight, making her professional debut from Flint, Michigan, introducing Clarissa T. -Ray. Referee Russell Moore calls Center him. ring. He's a four two minute round. Okay, Super trunks here are good, trunks here are good. Ladies, we went over the rules in the dressing room. You know I expect a clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. God bless you both. Touch up. All right, so we're set to go. Here Shields decked out in the uh, in the uh, white gold and in the purple, black, and silver is Franchon Cruz. Whoa, look at this. Right away, uh, Shields comes cracking. Love those with the two-minute ground. You see a lot of quick action right away. This is Leila Ali-type dominance that Shields has. And we 
we've seen against Grant John isn't taking a step back either. Grant John wants to go, hey, Larissa getting all this publicity. She took it away from me and took my chance to go to the Olympics. She's going to let it fly for as long as she can. A little bit more beefy than uh, is uh, uh, Shields, but they both weighed in. Go. No, no, stop! Let go. Respectively. But this is just throw your ears back and let it fly. This is an amateur style boxing. Well, look at that hand speed of Shields, though, huh? Yep, as uh, uh, Jeb gets there, the right hand gets a blazing hand speed, and that good movement. Left foot. Boy, well, yeah, I see what they mean when they say she's a technical fighter. Gets a jab out there. Short with the right hand, gets it right back right away here. This is uh, round one of the scheduled four rounds. I mean, we, we talk about the Layla Ali inspiration. Let go, let go. The weight class, similar. A lot of similarities in how they fight. And, uh, and she's got backing now. And she talked about the fact that uh, she didn't think there was a lot of attention being given to the Olympics. And she wanted more endorsements. And this is her way of trying to get some. Well, she wants to be a, a, a mouthpiece for female boxing. You know, it was uh, several years ago when Christy Martin, the gold mine's daughter, you know, really brought women's boxing to the forefront and it continued on to the career of Layla Ali. And it's been kind of dormant since, although there's some nice female fighters around. One man, Layla McCarter, who lives right in this town in Las Vegas. Larissa Shields is a lot more busy than his friend John. Let go, hands free. Fred Stop! Let go, let go. He's a fighter. Time! That ends the first round. That's a shield round. A little uh, disorganization in the corner of uh, Larissa. Didn't have that uh, stool in there. Leon Larson is a trainer. Jacob Duran is handling guts for her. And Andre Durrell also works that corner. Over this side with Frank Sean, you get uh, Barry Hunter, Patrice Hunter, and Glenn the Zoo. Good right hand Second. there by Shields, and then she Second steps time. back, and she would find more openings. All right, here we go, round number two. This is scheduled for four rounds. Clarissa Shield is decked out in the white trunk. She's the two-time Olympic champion. Stop! No! No That's a first down. Cross the ball right on top of it. But, uh, Don't shove her down. You what, Don't shove uh, her down. Let's go, let's go. That's under the no love loss category. Yes, exactly. Right back up Clarissa. Blasting away at him. Clarissa Shields and T Rex in the front of her trunks. Coming straight at him. Blast to the body. Stop! Ladies, watch your heads. Watch your heads. Good jab in the right hand by Shields to the opening. She's had the edge in the quick. Hey, one thing, Dave. French uh, has not come here to uh, roll it up and say, okay, you're the Olympic champion. You know. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. A ton of credentials Stop. yourself coming in here. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, several time champion. And uh, this was the step up to him. You, know, you come up with a big night, all of a sudden, you, you put yourself in the line. Yeah. The bell ends at round number two, and that's another shield round. Go to the body. Drop down to that body. Kick your feet out. Down and go up. Deep breaths. 
That's Stitch Durant. Yeah, I'm telling you. All right, we already discussed this. The second round, that's what it was supposed to be. Nice deep breaths. Relax. Hey, hey, Dre, um, I need that spray bottle. Grab that spray bottle for me. That's why I like to have a fourth man on the ground. Thank you. Now, Al Pace, you feel me? You fighting her scheme. She trying to time you with the overhand, then pull a hook. You got to hold the phone. Double, triple the jab and step around. All right? If we got a dog with it, let it be the last round, not early. You got to be smart tonight, baby. Trust me. Very Come on, now. He's right, too. I got you. Yes. You're going to be a dog way to the last round. Grab that bucket. All right, this is round number three. The Colonel Bob Sheridan here with Dave Montempo. We're at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Spent for free on a preview of free fights. This is the third of which you get to see the two-time Olympic champion in Clarissa Shields in the white and gold against that franchise Cruz, who turned uh, professional tonight as well. They both in their debut as professional fighters. They face each other in the prior to the 2012 Olympics and the 16-year-old Cruz won that fight tonight with God. You don't usually see for a first fight uh, somebody coming out of the Olympics to have such a tough contest, somebody who is an elite level member like yourself. But you know, the thing is, uh, Dave, I think that they wanted to showcase, knowing this is going to be on uh, television around the world, that they want to showcase her to get the interest of the shields on a, on a fight of this magnitude. Good you know what she's done on the main card. This telecast right now, the red door has been seen by literally hundreds of millions of people around the world. There's a lot of backing for her. In fact, the Mark Tapper, one of the major HBO executives, who's a kingmaker in his time now, is a co-manager for Shields, and he said tonight, hey, I picked up a laundry, I did this. I'm not doing these other chores for her. He's a lot of building her, she has a lot of fun. That's the don't hold, don't hold. Franchise okay. hasn't been able to do it, but the corner of the monitor doing that is, you know, punch and step around and try to blindside her with the right hand. He brought her with the left hand that time. A little more look of concern on Shield's face. Part of that fatigue because with these two minute rounds, they just sort of put their ears back and let her fly. She switches self off for a second, then she's back on the dock. Yeah, three punches in a row. Bang, bang, downstairs, upstairs. I can't wait for the fourth round because at this stage, Cruz is going to have to go dog and go after him. Because Shields out. has won the first Deep three Deep breath and blow it out. Deep breath and blow it out. One more. Now all that garbage you talk to me on the phone, you here now. Now we got to work. You understand me? She's just a regular girl. You feel me? Slow the fight down with your jab. Up and down. This is the last round. You can dog with her now. All right? You can dog with her now. How do you feel when the fight changes? And Shields on the outside. That was one of the best shots of the fight here for Cruz. Elbow follows up. <laughs> and then she got some of her better power punches through in that round. But time to go dog. Give me that time. All right, it's uh, Barry Hunter says it's dog time, so let's see if she can go dog. And then we find out what going dog Touch means, gloves. Touch too. gloves. Last uh, round, ladies. I know what it means. It's go to you, folks. Here they go. It should be two minutes of the world win war. T-Rex, Larissa Shields, the two-time Olympic champion. Yes, for you can back to you. That's a good down. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got this. Let me take this, okay? Let me take this. Don't push her down, okay? That's the second time. I get it. Okay, good job. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, she loaded up that right hand. Walked in the left hook. Now you think Grandchild has a cut the roll off at all. She did that and she took the chip of that. He's just tagging him a little bit there. Hey, stop! Let go, let go. Coming in. From Shields. Great job. Eight time champion. We're seeing the elite of the Olympic class going out of here. Hands free. Tough, hard fight, but uh, so far, 
Shields has landed more punches in the first three rounds. 45 seconds to go in this fight. It's a four rounder. Two minute round, you get clipped again. And again. Hands free, hands free. Get your hands free. They've got pretty good rounds out of this crowd. They have. Hands free. A lot of people know who uh, Shields is. But the, the way they have lost these attacks. And you know, the two minute rounds are all up. People like that. And the people that got here early enough are getting their hands. I'm giving uh, Cruz that round. He would be David. Yes. Yeah. All right. So I thought she thought the what? So I scored 39, 37, 35. People uh, in attendance are honestly from on their uh, feet and uh, and rewarding the two young ladies for putting on a very good fight. Remember, this was their professional debut, but they didn't strike like two women in professional debuts. And why would they? Because they're two of the most active amateur fighters in, in boxing around the world. And this was the time. Franchon gave the fight. Yeah, Shields had the right hand going all night, which, look from how far back that comes and lands. You need a lot of quickness to get something to go the overland route like that and score and have a lot of impact. And how about Fran Sean no, holding up again? Here's Jake Gutierrez. And ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of this special attraction, Super Middleweight, sponsored by Zappos, we go to the scorecards. All three judges, Ricardo Ocasio, Bert Clements, and John McKay, scored this bout 40 to 36 for the winner by unanimous decision in her professional debut, Clarissa T. So the three judges gave all the rounds. They didn't give Cruz the last round. I thought she won the last round, but my score doesn't count. The important thing is they got it right. The unanimous decision victory for Clarissa T. and her professional debut. That's a good one. And we'll see the more of her, I'm sure, down the line. Yeah, nice performance from both fighters. Good showcase. So that's it for our preview show. We've uh, glad that you could be with us. Uh, Kovalev Ward coming up very, very shortly here. That's the big one of the night. Sonny Fredrickson had a unanimous decision win over Gabriel Deloup. Tyler McCurry had his majority decision over Vincent Jennings. And the one you just saw, Clarissa Shields, a unanimous decision victory over Franchard Cruz. Stay with us around the world on pay-per-view. This is the big one coming up. Sergey Kreshikovlov against Andre Son of God Ward. Don't run away. It's all coming up live on pay-per-view. For Dave Patepo and our entire staff of the Monday Productions, I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan saying so long from Las Vegas in the USA.
Private travel is a beautiful thing. No matter what journey lies ahead, you can be sure you're doing it your way. Imagine the luxury of world-class premier travel at your fingertips. Checklinks. No. Mm-hmm.